Hey folks, and we're back. Today is May 19, 2012. We're back with a cloud battle. Right now we have Sky Drive versus Dropbox. So let's go over to comparison really quick. Sky Drive, for free, you have 7 gigabytes starting off. You can pay up from 10 all the way up to 400 gigabytes, ranging price, prices, or it starts with 20 gigabytes for $20. 25 gigabytes for forty dollars. I mean, sorry, twenty for forty dollars, and you have fifty gigabytes for hundred dollars. On the other side, you have Dropbox. It starts off with free with two gigabytes, and you can range up. So we have fifty gigabytes for hundred dollars and one hundred gigabytes for two hundred dollars. Terabyte for seven hundred ninety-five dollars. It just includes five users. All right. So. You. you also have for SkyDrive, you have a size limit per upload of 2 gigabytes at one time. And with Dropbox, there's no limit via the desktop apps for just 300 megabytes per 300 megabytes if you do off a diff if you're not doing it off a computer. Alright, All right, so SkyDrive has 7 gigabyte stacks on a paid storage. Assisting SkyDrive users can option out, can option in to keep their free 225 gigabytes allowment. Dropbox has an extra 0.5 gigabytes per frame referral, so this allows you to um, share this with any other people that you like, your friends, and once they sign up and download the computer using your, your using your referral link, you get 0.5 gigabytes. You have one terabyte, one gigabyte for pay accounts, up to 18 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes additional storage. Okay, SkyDrive has mobile apps as well. They have Windows Phone and iOS, which includes iPod, iPad Touch, iPod, iPod Touch, iPad, and iPhone. Dropbox includes Android OS and Blackboard, Blackberry and iOS as well. So both have advantages and disadvantages. So SkyDrive, for example, they have integration with other Microsoft products like being in Office, with the web editing or documents and online collaboration, public sharing of files, strings, files, music, videos, and videos can be used for storage and sync for third-party Windows Phone apps. On the other hand, you have Dropbox. So public sharing of files, drag and drop from the desktop to Dropbox. Account open in Chrome, Firefox, or Safari can be used for storage and sync by third party apps. So let's just take a look at both apps. First, we start off sorry, with SkyDrive. So we downloaded this for iPod Touch, SkyDrive right here. And we have a total of 7 gigabytes for free. Let's go back to the very beginning. Take a look at the interface. So right here, it says SkyDrive. You have this icon that allows you to add files from your iOS device and edit items. So editing, so let's edit files right here. Let's delete. Next you have this. You have all your folders that so you uploaded via your computer, your Mac, or your iPod, or any mobile device. Here you have files, recent, shared, and settings. So let's see the most recent version of SkyDrive is 2.0. Okay, let's have a quick look at SkyDrive. Last but not least, we have Dropbox. For Dropbox, we have 2 gigabytes. So, a 6 gig, sorry, 5, 5 gigabytes difference between SkyDrive and Dropbox for free accounts. So, the interface is a little similar, but it has difference. Edit over here, allows to delete. Here you can search right here directly for any file. So let's say uh, GRP or uh, search. Just quickly search and then you get all these right here. Really quickly you can search in all at once, files or just folders. Okay. Now, okay, at the bottom, you yeah, also have the same. So Dropbox, favorites, uploads, and settings. Dropbox app version is 1.4.7. This has a quick look at Dropbox. So, what would you pick?
pick for your cloud, for your mobile cloud, for your iOS device, Windows Phone, Android, Blackberry, or any device that you have for mobile versions. We'll click the Sky Drive for 7 gigabytes, or you just need less for Dropbox for 2 gigabytes. Either way, not going wrong with you. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and share with your friends. And